also make for some dangerous driving up in the Sierra. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins has more now on the latest warning from Caltrans officials. It's a beautiful drive when it looks like this outside, but it doesn't take long for weather conditions to make driving along Donner Pass dangerous. So Caltrans and the California Trucking Association are working together to make sure everyone gets to their holiday destination safely and on time. Please plan your trip accordingly and expect possible travel delays over Donner Summit. The warnings are out there. Snow heading for the Sierra on Friday means a dangerous Donner Pass for everyone on the road. We're going to have holiday traffic. This is the World Series of snow removal. Caltrans Superintendent Dave Woods says more than 100 employees in the department will be out this weekend, keeping roads clear and warning drivers about what to expect. People think that this brand or that will get you more traction. Mother Nature doesn't care what car you drive, neither do I. Slow down. But it's not just the cars that run into tricky situations. Sometimes when we have a light load, we, if we get slowed down on the grades, we might you know, spin out even with chains on. FedEx driver Eric Flick has been making the trip from Nevada to California for more than 20 years, and he's seen how treacherous whiteout conditions can be. I have had to be pushed before over dawn or summit. This is what helps us keep the road open when trucks start having a little bit of trouble. And thanks to a partnership between Caltrans and the California Trucking Association, these pusher trucks help keep more than 3,500 trucks traveling along I-80 every hour. So it's got all of the power of a semi-tractor with none of the weight. So this is a tugboat with chains. When they do get stuck, an average of five to seven million dollars an hour is lost. It's a very critical corridor that connects uh, California with the rest of the nation. So as winter settles in and the drivers hit the road, Caltrans prepares for a white Christmas weekend, hoping no one needs to be towed. I'm hoping for a lot of snow and a lot of happy customers. Hope that everybody has a great holiday. Keep in mind, it's very difficult for truck drivers to speed up and slow down. So when you see them out there on the road, don't cut them off. Instead, go behind them and try following their lead. So as Macy just told us, being prepared is your best bet while traveling through the mountains. Yeah, so what are the most crucial items that you need to keep with you? CBS 13 meteorologist Lisa Meadows shows us the staples to store in your car as you travel this winter. Whenever we have these winter storms moving on through, it's always a good reminder to have an emergency supply kit in your car. You want to leave it in there. Really, you should leave it in there all the time, but make sure you update it as well. What should you have in that kit? First aid kit, of course, you want to have that in there. Also, some flares. It's also nice to have an extra heat source if you can. They sell these little heaters that you can run off of batteries, so that would be great to have in the trunk of your car also. Don't forget extra food and water, tow rope, sand, or kitty litter to help get you unstuck if you get stuck in any of the snow. A couple of other things, great to have a cell phone charger with you. That's one big issue is not being able to communicate and tell people to come help you. Flashlight, you want batteries, extra mittens, hats, gloves, clothes, and also blankets.